Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while. I feel like there's been a lot that's happened since I last uploaded. I apologize for my time away. Life has been busy, but that said, you may not have realized it, but holy cow, we are two weeks away from the one year anniversary of Texas Chainsaw Massacre's release. That day was on August 18th, 2023. It's insane to believe it's come so fast since it released just nearly a year ago. Uh, someone mentioned it to me just a couple weeks ago. And I was like, oh, there's no way. There's no way. It's uh, I still can't believe it. But here we are. Uh, it's been a very fun and memorable time with this game in the past year. Maybe some rocky bits here and there. But, you know, I, I am uh, happy to have played it for the time that we've had it. Um, and let me preface this. I, I think this will be a fun video. I want to say, though, I don't know if any of this is going to happen. I've made a couple videos like this in the past. These are just solely my predictions or educated guesses or educated wishes for all you uh who saw the deadpool movie recently but um yeah i figured it'd be fun to do this get in the one year spirit go over a couple things i would like to see and a few things that i expect to see um so yeah without further ado let's get into it number one a dev stream i think we're gonna get dev stream i don't know when it's gonna happen but i do think we get one uh it's been a long time since we've seen wes and it really it's been a long time since we've seen the team in general um because if you recall, I think Wes and Matt were supposed to do the last one, ended up being just Matt. Uh, and, I, and I don't think we've had one since. I, I could be mistaken, but it's been it's been a few months now. Um, you know, I think Maria and Hans came out and we didn't really get a dev stream for that. And, you know, that they've already been out for a little while now. So I think that would be refreshing for the community. You know, Killer Clowns, um, I don't want to talk about them too much, but they're dev team does seem to be doing a little more frequently and I, I just think that's a nice thing it helps you know the community feel more in touch with the the development of the game and how it's going what direction it's heading what to expect and especially with the one year anniversary you know you want that to, you want that to be big you want people to be excited so how uh, how else to get excited than seeing the people who are bringing it to us uh, number two on the list let's raise the gosh dang level cap it's about time we've all been at 99 for months now and if you're not there's nothing wrong with that um you know you still got some time to grind there before the one year um i think it's time to raise the cap you know give us something else to do besides level up useless perks not that i dislike doing that it's been a fun challenge for me doing slow and steady on every killer um but you know there's only so much you can do at level 99. Um, most people run the same builds anyway. At least raising the cap will make it feel like your experience is doing a little bit of something. It's not entirely being wasted. Um, so yeah, I think that'd be nice to go along with that. Can we get the rest of the blackout cosmetics? You know, they teased um, Virginia's like, well, I guess they never teased it. They said it was coming a long time ago, whenever blackouts just initially released. We still don't have it. Um, honestly, at this point, if they were to raise level cap and make a new requirement for those additional DLC characters, that's fine with me. Let's get those two. No reason not to have the blackout cosmetics for the newer characters. Why not? Um, number three, more double XP. I know we, we had one like a month ago and there was literally another one that just happened from the 26th of July to the 31st. Um, who says no to more double XP? You want it. It's nice. It feels good. The points are so satisfying. You know, those 10K cook games, whew, they go crazy. Um, and I don't know if you can break 10K as a victim. I've never seen one, but it might be done. If you've done it, let me know. But uh, I've, I've gotten at least a few like 6,000ers before, but even that's tricky as victim. But yeah, double XP. Everyone likes it. Everyone wants it. Even if you don't need it, it's still nice to see. Um, and to go along with that, I think another in-game community event or community event like they've done for these past two double xp events that'd be super cool i mean it's it's a little something it's easy to do you you tweet out the stats every day you know dead by daylight's done this for years where they set some weird community goal and who knows if the numbers are real or fake who cares at the end of the day it's at least making the community you know closer together you have a challenge to go for quote unquote you know I think it's fun. Make it, you know, make it grandpa stabs, grandpa level ups, escapes, kills, nugget stabs, well jumps, blood buckets grabbed, you know, you name it. I'm here for whatever. It's just something fun. Um, you know, let let the community feel like they're contributing to a greater cause. 
Um, so that I feel like that one's probably a given. We'll get something like that. This next one, however, is maybe a little more controversial. Victim hairstyles. Let's get some victim hairstyles for the one year anniversary. I know you victim mains out there want it. You all want it. It would be super fun. Um, if you're not super active on, I guess, social media, you probably haven't seen it too much, but the modding community for this game is surprisingly active. Um, mainly the cosmetic modding. And let me say, they've got some good creations out there. There's certainly some interesting things out there, but uh, there's some there's some really nice ones um, that people have done, and it looks really good. So I, I would love to see more hair cosmetics, and honestly, just mix and match cosmetics in general would be awesome. I don't know if they'll ever add that, but it would be cool. I know they have the whole aesthetic they want, and that's fine. I respect that. I do think it looks good, The most of the cosmetics they've up... up um, given us thus far but yeah new hair whew, that would be fun that would be a very nice change um and i guess to kind of go along with that let's get some more cosmetics too give us some one year celebratory cosmetics you know a birthday cake hat for cook i don't know um a celebration party streamer for i don't know <laughs> the victim shirts who you know something do do something fun you know give a give johnny like a big knife for cutting a cake who knows um i think i think uh this would be fun for the game you know we do know there's still cosmetics out there that are not released i believe danny still has some that are in the kill intros it looks like pajama pants i'm pretty sure is that set that he doesn't have released yet Let's get those in whatever capacity they are there. Um, you know, this might be a little controversial, but if they can make it work, give us a battle pass. I know it's a little cringe to say, oh my gosh, the Fortnite battle pass. But honestly, if they're able to pump out cosmetics, I'll take it. I think most people would take it, um, even if it's something little. And maybe, honestly, if they do the mix and match route, that would probably work better for a battle pass because, you know, you can take one set of clothes and split it into two and so even if you have your battle pass at like 20 things or whatever you know you can still get them easily um it doesn't have to be anything crazy or super grindy um i'd like to see a nice casual battle pass for this game kind of similar to what um i don't know how many people have played but like halo the master chief collection had a really somewhat casual battle pass and i'd like to see something like that um if they choose to do it i know killer clowns is doing a battle pass DBD obviously has their rifts that they do, um, you know, and it, even if we don't go full blown battle pass, give us some events, you know, some challenges where we can earn things. Killer Clowns has challenges. DBD has the free events for different times of the year where, you know, you got to play a little bit, complete a couple challenges. And even if you don't do challenges, I think you can still just earn like tokens by playing and then it, it contributes to getting some sort of free cosmetic. I think that'd be fun. Um, I don't know if they would do it, but, you know. It's, it's something neat. More content is always cool. Uh, number seven on the list, and maybe a little bit of a sketchy one. Let's see some chop top teasers. I know um, that might be a stretch. We'll see. I know so many people want chop top. People are yelling for him, but we'll see. I don't want to. I don't want to say, "Oh my God, chop top's coming," and be disappointed. But I think at this point. Gun knows people want Chop Top, and I think they're going to have to eventually try and see what the heck they can do to make that happen. Um, I'm sure if they can make it happen, they certainly will, as long as money allows it. Who knows how the rights for all that work? I'm sure it's uh, easier said than done, but... You know, I think uh, if they somehow, you know, maybe they have this live stream, at the very end, Wes is like, oh yeah, Chop Top's coming. And the live stream, holy crap, the chat is going to go crazy. I'd love to see that. That'd be fun. Um, and maybe not. Maybe at the very least we get some sort of teaser for the next, you know, victim or family member. Um, they could do that in the live stream. I'd love to see that too. Uh, maybe it'll be Jesse. Maybe it'll be Sonny's girlfriend, June, I think her name was. Um, you know, who? I, take whatever, honestly. It could be someone brand new, a different story, anything. Uh, I, think they, I think they can certainly do anything, you know, original for this game. It'll be great. Uh, I've been very pleased with what they have added thus far. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for that. This one's going to be a short one. This next one, I was going to talk about museum mode. Uh, this was on my list from 
all along. They kind of bamboozled us a couple days ago on, uh, what was it, Monday the 29th. I said, hey, museum mode's coming out on the 1st, and everyone was like, oh, okay, apparently that's happening. Um, so that'll be uploaded tomorrow to the game. I'm excited to play through it. I think most people are. Unfortunate news, it did get released early on PlayStation 4 yesterday, the 30th. I don't know how that has happened yet again where a patch went through. Of course it did. Um, so a lot of people have already seen now, I guess, what uh, is in mu museum mode. So that's a little bit disappointing. But, uh, you know, it would have been cool if the whole community could see it and play through it once together. But, you know, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe the official one that comes out tomorrow will have something different. So, um, you know, I think everyone's hoping for some sort of teaser at the end. We'll see. I've tried to avoid watching it much just to keep the experience fresh for myself. So... Um, I'll certainly be playing through that. Maybe I'll even upload it. We'll see. Um, so yeah, after that, uh, the next one being a roadmap. I'd love to see a roadmap for the game. You know, it's it's been a year. It's been a up and down year to say the least. We've had queue issues. We've had a few bugs, nothing crazy. Um, I mean, obviously there's plenty of bugs, but nothing that's been overly game breaking. Obviously, Danny's rough. People don't like hands. And stamina buff was kind of a big one. But um, besides from that, I mean, you're going to have the occasional hacker. You're going to have people uh, playing cringy, you know, not so much you can do with that. But for the most part, I really do think the game has been pretty good in its first year of life. Um, I think a roadmap would help solidify that down the road. You know, Killer Clowns recently announced what their roadmap is going to be. And man, it looks nice. <laughs> it really does look nice. If they can do something to even match it similarly for TCM. I would be the happiest person in the world. Um, maybe we'll never get a roadmap. I know they don't like to make promises, and I totally get that from a game uh, designer and development side of things. Like, you don't want to make promises you can't keep. They sort of already did that with museum mode, and, you know, back when uh, the whole mill map and killer delay and all that, um, that was kind of rough for the community, so I sort of understand if they know, don't want to push out a roadmap. But that said, we have new... Um, a new team working on the game. Sumo, I believe, is officially, officially done after Maria and Hands came out. That was their final bit in the game. Um, I don't know if Guns ever confirmed that, but I know we saw a bunch of people from Sumo uh, post on their social medias that, you know, thanks for the work. We're officially done. Everything's now going to be Black Tower, yada, yada. So... Uh, maybe a new team, new expectations, new workload. Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to them getting rid of the two-week updates. Obviously, not every two-week update is going to have major stuff. I think they really could scale it back to, like, maybe every four weeks. Um, but at least maybe tell us when, you know, if we're getting new maps, give us new map information. I'm sure they would do that. But um, at the very least, you know... Uh, some sort of roadmap or better expectation of when things are coming... I think uh, I think would be nice for people. So I'd love to see that. Um, and I guess along with that, let's get a new map. Um, honestly, the the queue for the game still sort of being an issue in lobbies is unfortunate. Um, queues, lobbies, kind of. I say that sort of interchangeably, but you know what I mean. You know, you got the the two man family sort of issue that happens in lobbies. Um, they did add, you know, the penalty to help, and who knows, maybe it did, maybe it didn't, but um, more maps would be swell alongside a fix for that. Um, we are getting weather maps, which is very cool. I'm very happy about that. You know, we just got the mill night map. I assume we'll probably get more weather effects on other maps, and hopefully future maps too. I think that would be fun. You know, maybe the very first release of another map is, uh, is the storm version, or it's raining the whole time, or, you know, whatever it is. Snow... Probably not in Texas, but maybe. <laughs> I won't say no to snow. Um, so yeah, those are those are probably my two biggest complaints for the game, and a roadmap I think would help that a little bit. Um, so let me kind of end it here by saying number 10, the final one. I think we're going to see a nice long future head for TCM. I know this is a little bit of a corny one to end it, but you know, months and months ago, I think it was still before the end of the year um, and like before the first of 2024. I'm pretty sure Wes had stated that they were already planning out content well past the one year mark, um, which obviously you love to see that. That's very promising. I personally have faith that this game will live, survive and thrive. Um, you know, ignore what you see on Reddit and Twitter about people saying, oh, this game is going to be dead in another month, yada, yada. It, 
that's not the case. So many people do play this game. You can't base it off the Steam charts. You can't base it off the Twitch numbers. Play the game. You see so many people playing and having a good time. Um, I try to keep a positive mindset about most things, and I, I really do think this game will continue to thrive and grow and be a very, very fun um, entry in the asymmetric horror space. So, yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts, I guess, on what I'd like to see for the one year anniversary and what I expect to see. Hopefully some of that comes true. Um, what do you expect to see or what would you want to see? Do you do you like any of this? Do you have something different that I didn't mention you'd like to see? Let me know down in the comments. Um, yeah, and I guess if you are here still and made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing so you don't miss the next video. And with that, see you in the next one.